Yo, what's good guys? Today I'm gonna do a quick tutorial on how to always stay in key with your 808s. I had this problem when I started producing some months ago and yeah, it was so annoying to me bro. And now I just wanna show you how to do it if you struggle to keep your 808s in key. So, first thing we wanna do when we grab a 808, it's not always guaranteed that the drum kit has tuned the 808. So we have to go into the sampler and check out if this 808 is tuned to C or something else. So for that we right click this button and then we go into edit audio editor and right click again. Then we go into regions and detect pitch regions. So in my case we can see that this is tuned to C. This is actually good for us so we don't have to do anything. But if this was tuned to for example an A, we had to go into this adjustment section and then we have to use this keyboard to tune this to A. So we would right click on the A note. Oh, this is a G. On the, <laughs> excuse me, on the A. So now this 808 would be tuned right. And I can show you how the 808 would sound if it's not tuned. So this is tuned to A and not C. Yeah, this sounds just very weird. So back to C. Then how to stay in key. So the key of your 808 actually depends on your melody. So let's go into this melody and we will see that we have the E as our root note. And also we use the A and the A sharp, also the F. And that's basically all the notes that we use and we want to keep that in mind because as you can see I use the root note of my piano to make the 808. So I started off with the root note and then with A, what I also have in my melody, and then the G, also the F. So very easy tip for you. Use the root notes of your piano or your melody and then use these notes for your 808. And then a more uh, advanced it's not really advanced, but you have to practice that. Um, you just pitch up your 808 and then you listen to what sound is in key and what not. So this would sound like this. So you can hear that this G is not fitting in at all so we will pitch this up to A and then we will hear if this is better yeah much better okay so I hope this tutorial helped you a bit and I know the struggle bro when I started producing all my beats was out of key and it's just a very exhausting feeling to not know how to handle this situation but I will also say this takes time and practice just watch some tutorials bro, there are so many tutorials out there and then yeah, just practice. Just keep making beats and keep the consistency. Yeah, Have a nice day bro.